Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about engine downsizing. We know in this essentially and in this era, what we are mostly concentrating is to reduce the emission because we have to uh, satisfy those emission those that is put forward by the government. In addition, we have to uh, reduce the uh, emission without compromising the performance of the engine. That's why we have to, we must downsize the engine. Downsizing means using a smaller displacement engine without compromising the performance. For that, that's our prime objective for that we have to make a lots of changes in the engine and in the market too. Because people are mostly like to buy engine with higher displacement because uh, their attitude is like that. So there must be lots of changes in the market as well. Uh, if we look forward in the market, our current market, we can see lots of TGD engines, GD engine of smaller displacement. And if you look at the table, you can find that uh, the brake uh, mean effective pressure and the horsepower, uh, the Talk, everything remains the same as a naturally aspirated uh, engine with a huge displacement. Uh, how uh, we can achieve these kinds of power with a smaller displacement engine? We know that um, the uh, by considering an internal combustion engine, uh, doing the combustion process, what we will get is water and carbon dioxide. So we have to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. So we have to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that is uh, pulling out through the engine. So for doing that, we uh, if we are using a small displacement engine, we can directly reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that is emitted from an engine. Uh, uh, how it is possible is that a huge displacement will use a lot of fuel and air uh, for uh, which directly uh, directly depends on the emission of water and carbon dioxide. If you are using a smaller engine, there will be smaller part of air and fuel, so there will be less. So uh, our prime objective is uh, is uh, is to reduce the emission without compromising the performance, as I already said. For doing that, we need the forced induction system. That's why mostly uh, we are using a small displacement engine with turbo charging. If you look uh, five years ago, uh, the one liter engine were only able to produce a power of 60 or 65, something like that. But now uh, the one liter engine, that's what we are seeing in Polo, Hyundai cars, all those TGD engines are able to produce a power greater than 100 HP and how it is possible. We know that uh, by considering a bigger engine, it is able to provide a low end torque. That's why we are, we are getting a better acceleration and better driving pressure from when we accelerate our vehicle from zero. But we are not able to see that kind of performance from a smaller displacement engine from the beginning. But now we can see that some, some of the engines are able to provide the low end torque. So low end torque is uh, given by the turbocharger. We know that the size of the turbocharger is uh, very influential in case of the production of torque at low end. Uh, if we are using a bigger turbocharger in the engine, uh, for engine downsizing, we know that the downsizing means the engine displacement is low, so uh, it is not that much able to provide a low end torque. For providing that low end torque, we must use a turbocharger with smaller size. A smaller size turbocharger will be easy to spool up and to provide boost at lower RPM and lower uh, revs. For that, that's why the turbochargers are used in the smaller displacement downsized engines are of smaller size and they are wastegate type. So wastegate type turbocharger is used for providing that low wind torque because uh, they have lesser weight, so lesser inertia effect and the, that those turbine blades are more easy to rotate and uh, we will get the boost pressure at a lower RPM so uh, we will get the higher RPM as well so uh, we have to suffer a little uh, in, uh, in an RPM uh, depending on the engine construction but uh, we doesn't need to compromise that much compared to the older downsized engine that's why mo mostly we are seeing these kinds of engine like that uh, and the brake mean effective pressure inside the downsized engine will be higher because of this uh, the boost pressure that we are using inside the engine and in addition uh, what we are having is uh, the the older engines was of multi multi point fuel injection type but now we are using gasoline diet injection it is because we, uh, by using the mpfi technology uh, by uh, in the boost uh, by boosting the engine and comparing it with mpfi the engine is not able to provide or uh, that, that is not that much enough for providing uh, resistance to knocking but by using the gasoline diet injection we will be able to um, reduce the knocking because 
by using this direct injection technology the fuel will be directly in the, uh, by conserving the gas from that engine the fuel will be directly injecting into the air uh, that is injected inside the engine so because of this cooling effect that is provided by the fuel uh, the, uh, the fuel uh, will be mostly injected uh, at the end of uh, so uh, at the middle of combustion stroke or at the uh, beginning of combustion stroke depending on the injection strategy used whatever it is uh, the diet, diet injection will have a cooling effect which will reduce the overall temperature of the boosted air that is uh, sucked inside the engine so there is less chance for knocking uh, if we are using a gasoline diet injection that's why the lower displacement engines are preferring gasoline diet injection with turbo charging system and the turbo charger size will be less as well and the additional benefit by using the engine downsizing is a higher brake mean FET pressure plus lesser frictional area we know that high displacement means there will be lots of contacts contact area uh, but uh, if you are considering a lower displacement engine the contact area will be less which will directly reduce the frictional losses so we will have higher indicator efficiency higher brake mean effective pressure and higher indicator power so the engine will be more efficient compared to a high displacement engine but the challenging thing is uh, most of the people will be not able to accept this downsized engine because they are confused that these engines are not able to provide that much better performance compared to a higher displacement engine and they uh, they are not able to consider this as a durable machines but uh, the things are getting changed because the most performance engines that are that are currently available in our industry are downsized engine uh, which have capacity of 1 liter and 1.4 liter and these engines are able to provide a horsepower of 100 and 150 as well so to learn about the downsizing strategy don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get updated in the automotive industry and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when i make an upload thank you for watching have a nice day and bye